Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legend. Uh, back on the locations guide as uh, as usual. Um, in this episode, we actually get through a fair few places. Uh, the first couple take a long while. The last three, we absolutely fly through. Um, exciting one coming up here in a moment. Entering the Dragon's Den, in which I thought there was only Magikarp and Dratini. And even that Dratini I found in the main thing by sheer luck and got so excited I caught it. Nothing surfing whatsoever, apart from the Magikarp and Dratini. Then we go fishing with Super Rod, and we accidentally come across something awesome. It's a Dragonair, but not just a Dragonair, it's a shiny Dragonair. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Uh, no, I literally couldn't. I mean, this thing's hideously rare in itself. It, it took me a... I, I very nearly gave up. I sort of... I was about to call it as in... as it. I, I imagine there would be a Dragonair here, but I was all but ready to throw in a towel on finding it. I thought they must have taken it out or something, which I thought would have been odd. Then I'm literally the last fishing... literally the last fishing spot I tried. I uh, found one of these. And it was shiny as well, so I, I know I normally think uh, shiny in a hack not not such a great deal, but making exception for this one because it's a Dragonair which is awesome and uh, also a rare find anyway. So hooray! If I found this on the main game, it would have been like I wouldn't I wouldn't believe it at all. So yeah, shiny Dragonair, whatever the situation. Whatever happened with this, I was prepared to like rewind and give it another go. Because as you know, I don't like missing the shinies. But with, with some of the shinies, the difference is so like minor that I can't help but wonder if I've like hit in a in a fit of uh, speed up just overlooked some entirely, more than likely considering the amount of things I've actually had to meticulously go through in this. But uh, it doesn't matter if I missed anything else because Shiny Dragonair here makes up for it all. I didn't name it like I did with Alma Shiny. Um, it, it didn't occur to me at the time. I'm not sure what I would have named it. I probably would have named it something awful anyway so maybe it's best it just becomes it's standard Dragonair title. So I probably will end up evolving this at some point. Without a doubt. I'm not sure what Dragonite looks like, Shiny. I haven't. I probably have looked at some point, but I really can't remember. Who, who, whoever remembers these things. Without having something to refer to. Unless it's like their favourite Pokemon, in which case, fair enough. But. Dragonite sauce, awesome, but I wouldn't remember its shiny form offhand. But yeah, as you can see, it puts up a, a fair struggle and I end up having to hypnotise it. Although I am still using the Great Ball, so that probably doesn't help. Of course. I really don't have much of an excuse because at this point, you can get. Ultra Balls in Pewter, so I've gone well past the point where you can actually get Ultra Balls. But it's just a case of using down the stock, unfortunately. And we'd only recently, just before Pewter, brought a load of Great Balls after that Sneasel episode, literally the area, be two areas before. So sadly it wasn't great timing on my part. I probably should have just gone ahead and got an Ultra Ball fest, but you don't think of these things at the time. Unfortunately. But anyway, we've only got eight great balls to go through, now seven, and then uh, then it's uh, ultra balls all the way. After these, yep, seven great balls. Yeah, we got it. I mean, obviously, I knew we would, but it's still exciting to see it happen again. And there's its non-shiny form, it's far inferior form. And it 
is far superior form in shiny mode. So now we uh, we move onwards, onwards and hopefully upwards. Just got a glimpse of what we thought there. If you uh, if you're eagle-eyed, and then we head over to the next route. Dragon Air was the only thing to find there, and I'm not complaining. That was a rather awesome find. Route 21, in which we uh, have again a f fraction of grass to go through, and that's literally the entire grass supply in this area. There's no bigger one further down. In which you find a ride, it's not too exciting, I have to say, not terribly like over the moon with this. But it's a thing we haven't got, and therefore we are obliged to catch it. And it puts up a reasonable struggle, but I won't like deny its uh, deny its efforts. But it's still uh, futile because I'm going to find it and track it down and throw how many balls it needs to be mine. So really, these things should just like admit defeat straight away and accept that they are going to be captured. Pokemon trainers do not give up that easily. Well, let's cut my hit points down by like uh, nearly a sixth. So that, that's not bad going for a wild thing that's a third of my level. Nearly. Especially one of the weaker Pokemon of Gen 2. I have no idea how many we've got. I, th uh, I think we might be getting towards 150-ish, I think. Not 100% not sure on that, don't quote me. Well, I must have a look. I haven't been keeping track at all. I'm on Pokebox, Pokemon box number 7, I think. So, uh, 20 in each, so that'll be, like, around about 140. And there's also an Omanyte here, uh, which is weird that I don't have it when I have the uh, Evolved Form. Although I think I only caught the Evolved Form for the purely because it was shiny, to be fair. So now we get its baby. Going in with the full swipe, of course, as is the norm, and it doesn't look like it's going to put up any fight whatsoever. It may have had a few more hit points so I didn't even bother. But I am impressed by its defence. For the only thing that actually stopped me from cutting it down in one hit, other than that, was the mill tank, I believe. From the last episode, I think. Or maybe before that now. But yeah, Omanyte is ours, and in a moment we will find a Octillery. Octillery is amazing, I've never used one, but I, I really want to. So it's a tricky one to get hold of. I mean, in, in the Johto games, it doesn't really show up until the route between um, Mahogany Town and Ice Path. Is that, is that where it shows up? I, I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure you can get a memory there. Uh, I don't know if there's... Wait. I don't... Oh gosh, I can't think if you can get a anyway before that. But either way, it is something like that. It is late in the game. Too late to really start considering using brand new things, unfortunately. But yeah, Walkthrough is ours in this game, even though I'll never use it again. Uh, 
so we go on to find something you might expect, considering what we've already found so far. Kabuto joins the crew here. Giving us a full set of ancient Pokemon, I believe. Don't think I've got a Redactyl yet, though. That's sadly not around here. That would be amazing. I, I was rather hoping it would be the sixth Pokemon, but it wasn't. After that, it was uh, I found Quagsire, which was super rare. I'm, I'm amazed how rare that was to find. Considering it turns up constantly in uh, in one of the routes before here. That seems to be the pattern. You seem to find uh, a Pokemon really common in one area in this hack, and then it does show up in other areas, but you can never catch it. But yeah, Kabuto is on the squad, and that is all the Pokemon to find in this area. Now, from this point on, I think there's only one thing, maybe two, left to find. Um, before before the end of the part, I mean. So if we go fishing around hereabouts, I'm not sure if we actually come across anything. Do we? There is a couple of interesting things that turn up here. Chinchu! Chinchu is definitely an interesting thing. Um, another Pokemon I've really wanted to use and never really used it, but I don't really have an excuse for Chinchu because you can, I believe, get that reasonably without too much difficulty at a point where it would still be useful. It's such a weird thing though. Oh, and you may have noticed we are now on the Ultra Balls. Yes, we uh, used up our Great Ball Supply and then I did a Pokemon League run again and came back with a ton of Ultra Balls. I may regret it depending on what we find from here on. Because obviously with greater with greater number of uh, Ultra Balls... Wait, what am I talking about? You, you sacrifice number of Ultra Balls for... Accuracy is what I'm getting at. I'm just not doing a great job of phrasing it for some reason. And a shoulder turns up. Um, surprisingly, you don't find Cloister anywhere around here, which uh, I imagine is because it's a stone evolution, which probably explains... Well, you don't seem to find the stone evolutions around in the wild in this hack. Sometimes, even some of the main games you do, sometimes, I think. But, um... But yeah, not in this one. Uh, cause Starmie never shows up either, even though Staryu's made a couple of appearances. Whereas, uh, Kingler and Krabby often go hand in hand at this point. But yeah, Shelda is another member. And then I believe it's just one more thing to find, and it's another slightly awesome thing. If we fish for a second... And then we come across... Lantern! Which is cute. So, um, yeah, uh, it, this harks back to what I'm saying about King Le Krabby. Shinshu Lantern turns up in the same place, but never Shelter Cloister and never Staryu Starmie. Tentacruel and Tentacruel as well, constantly, but they do that in the main game as well, so that's not too much of a surprise. In fact, they do it constantly in the main game. I've even have Mag had Magikarp and Gyarados appear in the same place as well, even though that was just a one-off. So, um... 
So yeah, I, th I think it can only mean stone evolutions are a no-go in terms of finding them outside. I'm not even sure if I have any stones. I must have some evolutionary stones, but I just don't remember finding any at all. Although it's been months since I've actually played the main story of this, so I can't be too surprised if I forget stuff. Um, I think there was a point where I started to think, hold on a sec, have I got enough stones to evolve all these things? I think I didn't. But hopefully that all works out. Anyway, Lantern is the last thing we'll catch. We do make every effort to uh, look for stuff in the next area, but it's so it sort of goes into cookie cutter mode here. Uh, everything that turns up in Route 21 also seems to show up in Cinnabar Island, Route 20, Route 19. So it gets a little bit frustrating, unfortunately. Um, sudden change tonight. And then, uh, then we actually, yeah, we stayed a while in the Pokemon Center. So we surf around, we do find stuff, but it's literally the, uh, the little things on the bottom there, whatever you want to call them, for that list of Pokemon in the area anyway, are not going to be changing much in the next three areas. So even though we do actually spend ages looking for these things, um, it's all disappointing because it's virtually the same stuff. Occasionally, I think the biggest change is just like something turning up with a gold, good rod instead of a super rod or something along those lines. Rod changes, not Pokemon changes, unfortunately. Route 20 is the same as I've been saying. Just surfing around, hopefully. I was really surprised nothing like Mantine or Quill, even Quillfish turned up. Quillfish just sort of appeared once and then completely unfindable. But that's why I've got to check all the areas in this, you just can't take it for granted that nothing's there. I do worry that I've missed something just because of the uh, the Dragonair incident at the start of this episode. The, the fact that it did show up and just uh, literally on the last hurdle I was all prepared to throw in the towel on that before it appeared. So yeah. Moving on to Route 19, and oh, I'll not be surprising you, it's the same situation. But at least after we've done this, this clears us for Kanto. That's literally uh, every place here searched, and Johto is much shorter, so in light of these last few sea routes being similar, they got packed up nice and quickly. So I might be on track for getting this done in 10 episodes, that'd be nice. Ah, but yes, that is where I shall leave it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and next time we will progress into wherever the road takes us next. See you soon. Bye!